Hey everybody, this is Hunter and today I am bringing you the 2021 Riverstone Legacy full body paint, full time living, 2021 Riverstone Legacy 383 MB. Sorry, I left that off there for a second. March Madness started, Oral Roberts took down Ohio State. I am pretty pumped. But let's go on inside and check this thing out. And before you do, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, whichever side it's on. Maybe like and comment. Something positive for me. Got a baby on the way and buying a house, so I need the help. But check this thing out. It is absolutely beautiful. Give you a little peek on here. Do a little quick tour, and then we'll start breaking it down a little deeper tour. But this thing is, uh, it's awesome. It's Forest Rivers, top of the line camper. Does not get any better than this. And I mean, check it out. I mean, you can see why right away. It is quality built, meant for the person, not your casual camper. This is meant for some heavy duty usage. You can stay in it full time, travel around, you know, do whatever you want. Most people do not purchase these for your weekend warrior. But let's start right up here, right as you walk inside this door. Bam, you got cabinetry, you got counter space, nice sleek black glass right here. It is looking good. Plenty of storage all over this camper, really nicely built. I mean, check the way that this is right here. You can tell it's the real wood. Notice how you don't see, um, you know, any like nail tacks or anything like that. So it is actual cabinetry, magnet latches. but plenty of storage all around. You got three ACs on this bad boy, so you know you're good. It could be 100 degrees out and 70 in here, and you are good to go. Largest refrigerator in the game, the Samsung 10-year warranty. So this thing is built to last for sure. You got your freezer. Everyone knows what those are. Don't have to explain too much onto that. But check out this island kitchen. I think it is beautifully designed. I mean, check that out. You got your accent lighting. You got whatever you call this is. That's a good look. Solid surface countertops throughout this entire camper. Double bowl, stainless steel sink, a residential uh, faucet. And you got plenty of storage right here. You can put like a little brush for your dishes underneath. You got plenty of space and a little pull out there for your trash can. And it even comes with a place for some silverware and a dishwasher. How neat is that? Who doesn't want that in a camper that they're staying in, you know, nearly year round? And right here, you got plenty more storage. Pull out drawers under here and the large insignia oven. Check out how much room is in this. Cook yourself up a turkey. Four stove top burner, again, solid surface countertops. Let's go ahead and bring that in. Solid surface countertops. Nice, real tile backsplash. And speaking of tile, you have the flooring here, which is, uh, well, they're, they're individual hand-laid tiles. So let's just say you got a kid that comes in and boom, scuffs that up. Well, you pull out that one tile and you lay in a new one. So that way it's not gonna ruin your floor. It's not one piece laminate like so many campers do. This one's built to a little bit of a higher standard which is why you have a much higher price tag on it. MSRP value is about 170,000. Our sale price is, you know, obviously much lower. Unfortunately, I'm no longer allowed giving out prices on some of these videos because some people that sell them for a little higher like to complain a little bit. But make sure to email me at hunter at the rvhunter.com and I'll get you hooked away with the price right away. <coughs> 50 grand less. But right here, you got more cabinetry above the back. You're going to notice windows everywhere. Each one of these windows has a day and night shade. So, you know, during the daytime, if you just want some light blocking of the sun, but still get some nice ambient lighting in there, you can do that. Or you can get your Dracula on by just pulling that shade down. And this thing gets dark. This right here is a pullout sofa. So yank it out and it comes to just above that, um, that heat vent right there. So plenty of sleeping space. I believe it's a queen size. Don't quote me on that. I'd hate to be wrong to you, but that's what I believe. 
residential fan right there. Keep the air circulating. We know how campers can get a little stuffy at times, but this one fights that very well. Huge cabinetry up above. I mean, check that out. And there's another identical one right there. And this guy with the fancy black glass. So storage all over. Let's show you this day and night shade, a little example of that. Get a little peek into my shop here. So it just lets a little bit in. Let's none in. On either side, you are gonna have outlets. And right here are some controls for your lights. This also has one central control of the Firefly system, which I'll show you here in a little bit, where you can control everything from sort of like a, a little touch, you know, iPad, something like that. But you have a really massive TV right here. Awesome JBL speakers. So this thing gets bumping, has three different zones. So you can go inside individually, outside individually, or both inside and outside if you're at the campground. You wanna get the mood right for some jam into some tunes. Good storage all around, and that's that easy latch. Again, or the soft close. I'm not sure what they call it, the actual name, but check that out again. I just think that's pretty cool to, to do. It's fun. So you won't hear cabinets clanging and banging around. This fireplace right here, if you've watched any of my videos before, it has a setting. You can get that to 100 degrees. So if it's like 40, 45 out, that's going to be all the heat that you need to heat up this entire space. So you're not burning your propane, you know, 24 seven, you know, you're good to go. And underneath here, you got some added space, put your DVD players, you know, whatever you want to do there. No need for a sound bar since you do have those awesome speakers that I mentioned. But take a look at this. I mean, it is definitely beautiful. I love whatever the heck that thing is called. But who doesn't love that? I think just about any child would just be sitting there daydreaming, staring up at that, making up stories in their head. Really tall, deep slides on this. Awesome construction. Three-inch sidewalls. So you know it is built right. Not many campers can say they have the three-inch sidewalls. And with that comes the advantage that, let's say if you want, um, you know, that outlet moved. If you want it, you know, down a little bit. Request it. You guys can put outlets wherever you'd like. Uh, you know, it's good to go. But that's it's built right, and you can you can do things like that. You have your reclining chairs right here. It all is all on controls right here. It's just out and in. USB port, more controls. USB port, and these come all the way down, so you can pretty much sleep in that. Uh, you know, it, it levels itself out pretty nice and flat more outlets with two usb chargers nice little r for riverstone right there but this is a nice well-built rig and i hope you guys dig the video and this is a good time to remind you again if you've made it this far i appreciate it so much please hit that subscribe or like but like button it all helps me so right here is this firefly system i was telling you about you have the options Master off, turn them all on. Electricity, so you can read what's going on. Your lights, and I think this is a pretty cool button. You can hit living mood. So just nice ambient lighting, all the accent lighting, you know, is right there. Click it off, click it on. You can do the same thing with the bedroom for the bed mood, bedroom mood, or you can go individually throughout all this. You have your HVAC system. It's really just a pretty neat, you know setting they, they thought about it for everything here's the schematics of all the slides nice and color coded so it's kind of dummy proof uh, so you don't have to worry about anything confusing you can even set in stuff like auto dimming modes you know screen brightness cleansing mode temperatures just a really cool system let's head on into the bathroom here and i love this thing i love how they switched it up to the black cabinets down here uh, by the way this interior decor is stout stone and Juno Gray, I personally like it, but there is an option for lighter, brighter uh, cabinets. Dual vanities, accent lighting behind uh, the mirror, which you can control right here. So you can turn that off, you can keep it on, but check that out. So for the nighttime, you know, you're not blinding yourself while you're brushing your teeth. I think that's just pretty neat. Add a little touch, add a little quality. 
residential finishes to the faucets. Nice handsome man in the mirror. Towel holder, TP holder. Storage there for knickknack items, one on this side and the other side. And you got six of these bad boys that pull out. And you got one of these on either side. Your Dometic porcelain throne, we all know what you do there. And a beautiful residential style bathroom. I mean, or a shower, check that out. It is nice looking for sure. And I like how they have kind of the disappearing, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, the drain. And a little flip down seat for your booty. Tons of storage. And check out this bedroom. This customer opted to go ahead and put in the washer and dryer. So they're obviously coming out to uh, stay in this a little bit more than most people. So that's definitely awesome to have. You can get that in there. Uh, or you can leave it out if you want the extra space. If you're more of the uh, a weekend warrior or maybe like a week here and there, you don't have to have the washer and dryer. Space on either side for some knickknack items. And you do have USBs and outlets, again, on either side. Let's see here. Lift that bad boy up. Some storage underneath. Got yourself a little dresser there to go in with your 40 inch bedroom TV. That's pretty nice. And I love how they put the accent lighting down here. There's just accent lighting everywhere. Little storage cubby right there. I believe you can get a cadet wall heater in there if you choose. Let's see if I can just get my gimbal to squeeze right in there. But cedar backing back here in the closet. There is right there is your control for your solar. I won't get back there for you. It also comes with a little Dyson uh, vacuum. But again, awesome camper, awesome layout. This would be perfect for two people that maybe occasionally want to have the grandkids for the pullout couch. You know, place to watch a movie and definitely a quality sound system, you know, to get some music bumping. But let's head on outside. I'll talk for just a couple minutes on the outside. This is where you head out. I appreciate you watching greatly. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. And if you are in the market, make sure to hit me up. So here is the exterior. Nice, large awning. LED lights underneath. The steel mist paint. It is a good looking one. And check out this full pass through storage. I mean, you could probably sleep about 20 kids down there if you wanted to. And on the other side, you have the water manifold system, which I'll show you here in a minute, which is pretty darn neat and not in a lot of campers. And they really need to be. So right here, let me see if I can block out the light. You got a camera right there, uh, which is always nice to, nice to have so you can see what's going on. Oh, right outside of you. You got your Goodyear tires. It's part of that Legacy Edition there. Your 40-inch outdoor TV. If you do not get the outdoor TV option, you are not going to get these outside speakers. So I highly recommend ordering that. Whether you want the TV or just the ability to, uh, you know, have something to bump a little bit of some tunage. But as you can see, this is a big one. It weighs 16,000, like 760 pounds-ish. Uh, but you got your turn signals, which is nice. Again, not a lot of campers. You don't have kind of that backup and turn signal capability. Another camera right there, so that way you can see what you're doing while you're driving down the road. A good ladder to go on up there and do all the maintenance that you need. And it has metal wrapped awnings throughout the whole thing on every slide. So you don't have to worry about the elements, you know, ruining your day on a, on a leak. All right, so let's show you this, um, this water manifold system, which I think you're going to like. So right here, if you guys are in somewhere and you spring a leak, you can actually come up and shut off each individual spot. So let's just say the kitchen sink, you know, springs a leak. Bam, we'll turn the kitchen sink off. Don't let it ruin your trip. Just take that part out of the trip. You know, your clothes, your washer and dryer. Turn it off. The bathroom, turn it off. Keep on what's working. 
auto leveling, six point auto hydraulic leveling on this. Underneath that part right there is your hydraulic area. And this thing has the big boy 5500 Onan generator and the 21K air ride hitch. But that wraps up this video. Have a wonderful day, have a beautiful weekend. Enjoy March Madness. Even if you're not a basketball fan, I think everyone appreciates March Madness. But again, make sure to like and subscribe and have a good one.